Hey guys, just trying to get a little video of some wind damps coming in. You can see the weather station here, it's a 4 mile an hour wind. You can see the turbines here, just running right about 10 watt, 10 volts right now. The gauge on the right is the amp meter. Yeah, it's climbing up pretty good there. It's about 9 amps right there. It's a 30 amp meter, so the center of that meter would be 15. First numbers that we almost just hit there, that's 10 amps. I have three wind turbines. Two homemade ones. And one Winmax HY400. 12 volt. Right now I have my biggest DIY turbine hooked in series with that Winmax. And the second DIY is just running in parallel with them. Seems to be a pretty, pretty good combination. I switch them around quite a bit just to see what differences are. On a good windy day like today I probably should have them all just run parallel but I have uh, the turbines going to three 12 volt marine batteries. And I also have three homemade solar panels going to that battery bank as well. You can see here the green light blinking. That's regulating the power from the panels into the batteries. Got 4.1 amps going into the batteries. Batteries are at 14 volts. But I also have this. 250 watt grid tie inverter hooked up to that 12 volt battery bank. So that's pushing about 30 watts back into the grid. The only reason I have this grid tie inverter hooked up is to help me regulate my wind power. Whenever the batteries get over 13.4 volts, this inverter kicks on and pushes the excess out into the grid. Okay, it's seven and eight mile an hour winds here. You see your volts are climbing up a little bit here. We're at ten volts. Sitting at fourteen volts right now, so got a couple amps. The wind is real dirty, so sometimes my turbines are getting kicked out of the wind today. There's trees all around them. You can see they're sitting pretty steady at 14. Basically just trickle charging. We got a couple amps coming here and there. Still sitting at 14. They'll sit right there for a while and chug along at 14 volts. Maybe a half an amp or so. It's a three mile an hour wind, four mile an hour wind. You see the voltage is dropping back a little bit, 10 volts. So right now I have this battery banks full, 14 volts. Got four amps coming in from the homemade solar panels. We just saw almost 10 amps from the DIY turbines and the HY400. I also have a 3500 watt solar array that pushes power into the grid. That's an 8 mile an hour wind. But if we look at the weather station here, see all the arrows around this, around the 3 there. 
That shows you how dirty the wind is. That's where the wind direction's been in the last couple seconds. I think this updates every two seconds. So the wind's kicking around. You can see the arrow here is all the way over to almost to the east. Now it's back over here. That's the dominant wind, that arrow. Now it's back up here. So you can see the wind is real dirty. Alright, it's kind of a cloudy day, but let's see if we got any power coming in from the big array. I don't know if this will come out or not. Get it to just the right angle, else you don't get anything, I guess. Anyhow, 2800 made 4.5 kilowatt so far today. Two thousand eight hundred and seventy-nine watts. It's coming in from that solar array out there. All right, guys, this video is getting a little bit long, but. I just wanted to take a gander out at the turbines. See, we got two turbines down low. <laughs> that one's about five feet off the ground. The one behind it might be eight feet off the ground. And the wind max is 30 feet off the ground. bad right now. I could actually walk on top of the snow. When I fall through it's about 22 inches deep though. The HY400 cranking today. You might even hear a little whistle from it. This DIY turbine here I'm about 12 feet away from it. It doesn't even make a sound at all. The other one is eight feet up. You got the wind max up there, and wind max is working right now. It's a solar array. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.